What's going on guys? Jim Min here. After spending $1,700 on the Iron Studios 110th scale Sentinel Diorama, sometimes you gotta scale back and look at some more affordable statues. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna take a look at four more affordable, smaller scale statues, unboxings, reviews for each one of them. Before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video, and we are giving away a Spider-Man premium format once we hit 125,000 subscribers. All you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel, leave a like and a comment on this video, stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll give you more details on the giveaway. But for now, let's jump into the unboxings. All right, guys, the first one we're gonna take a look at is the most affordable one this is the diamond select gallery diorama superman ascendant this one retails for just fifty dollars and what's funny is it's the one that i think i'm gonna like the most let's go ahead and just take a look at all the sides here's the bottom and then here is the top let's go ahead and get this guy open it looks like it's just one piece that doesn't require assembly which i don't really like for when i make videos because it just makes for an uninteresting video but Let's go ahead and get him out of the blister pack here. We'll lift this top part up. And then here we go. All right, so let's take a good look at this guy. Like I said, all one piece. He definitely feels like he's made out of plastic material. So that's probably why it's on the cheaper end. But let's take a look at the details. So I don't want to hit the camera. The face sculpt looks good. It does lack paint applications. It looks like really one solid color with that flesh tone there but it looks like Superman. I like the hair, it's got like this nice shine to it. Cape moves a little bit, but it is attached. Uh, man, I think the sculpt looks great. The anatomy of Superman looks great. He looks buff. He looks like how you would want your Superman to look. Costume looks pretty accurate. Paint's a little sloppy here on the costume, but again, on the more affordable side, 50 bucks. And you have the clouds here. The cape sculpt looks pretty good. Feels like it's a little pal palatable. Is that how you say it? But this is a nice little piece, man. I would put this on top of the Calyx next to Hulk up there for 50 bucks. Looks like it's more on the 1 7th, 1 6th scale. Not too bad. All right, so looking at Superman, I really like the anatomy and the sculpt on this guy. I love how that cape is billowing upwards off of his shoulders. The motion in the cape looks great. The folds look good. The clouds have a little bit of a translucent look to it, which it looks very plasticky. It kind of reminds me of something that you would buy at like the zoo or something like that. So the base I don't really love. I mean, it's got some texturing, some different shades of paint applications to try to accentuate the fact that they're clouds and not like, I don't know, water bubbles or something. Uh, overall, I do like the paint on Superman. It's a $50 statue, so I can forgive the lack of tones on his face and the lack of shading on the belt and things of that nature. The sculpt of his muscles on the blue, or under the blue costume, I should say, really make up for the lack of shading. The muscle definition is insane. His chest, his shoulders, those biceps are humongous. Uh, and overall, I'm really enjoying the piece. All right, so we're a little late on this one when it comes to May the 4th Be With You, Revenge of the 5th, Return of the 6th, but we have a gentle giant in collaboration with Diamond Select, Luke the Dreamer statue. This is one seventh scale, classic scene from Luke on Tatooine. He's got those micro binoculars, and it's recreating this scene here from the original trilogy. So uh, this one's limited to 3,000 pieces. You know, we've reviewed a few of these Star Wars pieces. They have the same slick box uh here's the addition size 477 out of 3000 here is the top let's get this bad boy open he's come with these little cards little coas it's pretty cool all right so let's go ahead and cut the tape here did i mention the price on this one this one right now you could buy on amazon for 130 dollars So here we go. Let's go ahead and get the base taken care of first. Looks nice, man. I like the sand desert look of Tatooine. You have this piece of machinery here. It's got some good paint applications to it. Some nice weathering rust look and sandy looks here. Weathering towards the bottom. Pretty good. Here's the bottom of the bay. So nice and classy. Keeping it classy with this one. All 
here's a look at young Luke Skywalker so I don't know guys let me know is that likeness there kind of has Mark Hamill eyes but I don't know the likeness is not a hundred percent for me uh, but I do like the sculpt of the costume here you have the uh, those micro binoculars like I mentioned you can see the fabric look of the sculpted in pants the wraps of those boots come on right you see how those wraps look there's pouches here I kind of like the two different keyholes that's pretty sturdy right let's give him a spin all right so moving over to Luke like I said in the unboxing uh, I don't think the likeness is really there in the face however I think it's probably the most well done out of all of these statues considering the base the texturing on the sand um, that droid, what is that, a garbage can he's standing next to, has great paint applications, weathering is there, detail is there, the sculpting on the fabric, uh, I say fabric, but it's all sculpted, but his clothing is sculpted very well, including his belt with his pouches, um, the hands look pretty good too, you have veins and detail in those hands, fingernails sculpted in, uh, and, and the, the hair looks good, I mean the sculpt is good, the paint shows nice differences on the strands of hair, it's just that for me the likeness is a little bit off. But otherwise, it's a it's a well put together piece. All right, next one up. I was kind of excited for this one. This is the Old Man Logan by Diamond Select. This one retails one hundred and fifty dollars, also limited to three thousand pieces. And I thought this one was really cool. So, Logan Wolverine in this dystopian future. Three seventy two out of three thousand. Here's the top. Let's go ahead and get them open. Here's the COA, designed by Sean Knapp, sculpted by Matt Brulliard. All right, so this guy looks like he may be one piece as well. All right, let's take a look at him. He looks pretty solid, man. All right, so here goes the portrait. Mm, I don't know. Doesn't really give me the Wolverine vibes either. Maybe from a distance up close like this. The paint applications don't look really that great on the skin tone or on the hair. He's got the, the jacket, got the button-up shirt underneath. Those denim jeans. A little acid wash going on. His claws sticking out of one hand. It almost looks like he's standing on the moon, right? <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be a snowy base. Doesn't look that great. Looks look, looks like the moon. I like how they kind of have the snow on his boots a little bit. So that's a nice attention to detail. Here's the bottom of the base. I think from a distance, though, it'll look pretty good, right? Let's get him on the turntable. All right, looking at old man Logan. So he looks good from far. I think, you know, close up, we're going to see all of those flaws. And, you know, what does old man Logan really look like? There's different artist interpretations. But from afar, this guy looks pretty good. I think that the face looks menacing. He's got a serious scowl on his face. They sculpted the hair and beard pretty well. The paint applications do show differences between the whites and the grays. Um, the clothes look pretty good too. I mean, it looks a little blocky. It almost looks like this is hand sculpted. It could be. But the, the fabric illusion on the jeans and the, and the jacket, it looks a little jaggedy. But if you look at the undershirt, it's got nice shadowing and texturing in his uh, undergarment. Uh, his leather jacket doesn't really look like leather. It's got that collar, that fur collar to give you the illusion that it is. Um, the claws are a little blocky. They don't really look like they're done too well. Same with the hands. Uh, the boots, I think they did a good job of showing the, the snow uh, going up against the boots. But yeah, the base, man, I don't know. The snow, it's hard to do snow in expensive quarter scale pieces. So on this smaller scale more affordable piece man it's really hard to convey the snow on that base it does look like the surface of the moon uh he does have this kind of tree bark that's cut in half behind him which kind of looks like a tree uh the bark with snow on it it looks okay but uh i mean overall it's a cool piece don't get me wrong if this is on your shelf and you're not examining it nitpicking it up close like i am it's a pretty decent piece. All right, saving the most expensive one for last. This is the Avengers Infinity War by Diamond Select Toys, Thor, and Rocket. This one retails $200, but I believe you can get it on Amazon for cheaper, like around 150 or so. 
I think we've done a few of Thor Diamond Select pieces, and the likeness has always been pretty good. This one has a Rocket with him, got a nice base here, designed by Nelson X Asensio, sculpted by Rocco Tartamia. Is that how I, do I say? Am I saying that right? Here's the art box. This one is number 298 out of 3,000. Seems to be the magic oop, edition size number for Diamond Select. Here's the top of the box. Let's get her open. Of course, we got the COA. Wow, this one looks like it's all one piece as well. A lot of supporting pieces of styrofoam going on here. All right, man, one huge piece as well. So what is going on with Chris Hemsworth's face here, man? Why does it look like he's got like a, a bruised nose? So that looks a little wonky. He goes Rocket. Rocket looks pretty good, right? Got that huge gun. Like that platform he's on. Got a metal platform, rocky base. A little smoke on the back here. Here's the bottom of the base. Let's give this guy a quick spin. Um, it looks okay. All right, guys, so Thor and Rocket, I can't get over this nose on Thor. It looks like it's just my piece that has this kind of paint blemish where it looks like someone broke his nose or something, man. He got punched in his face. Uh, but overall, you can see why this one is the more expensive one out of the four. It has a lot going on with the base. It's got two characters on it. It's basically a little diorama. The base has a lot of different things going on when it comes to that steel platform. The rocks underneath, which have a lot of sculpted in detail. You have this kind of smoke mist effect on the back, which looks okay. Different texture, different material used. Uh, nice honeycomb type of design texture on this platform. Rocket's got a lot of sculpted in details. His fur has all these like sculpted in notches. He's got a jet pack with this nice dull metallic paint job to it. The huge gun looks good. A lot of intricacies in the sculpt there. His face looks pretty decent. Thor, his costume looks okay. It's a little bit bland. Uh, the skin tone looks a little bit dull as well, but the sculpt is okay with the muscles. Actually some sloppiness uh, on his left shoulder here. The costume does have some sculpted in detail to show the folds, to show different textures, like alongside of his thigh. It's got like a padding there, uh, but you can tell that it's more fabric on the rest of the pants. His chest plate, very Thor looking with those four circles there. The pose leaves a little to be desired, but I think it would look good with the other Infinity War pieces that Diamond Select has put out. We've reviewed a few of them. All right, guys, there we have it. I think my initial assessment was correct, man. I think I'm digging the Superman one the best out of all of these, and it's the most affordable one. So here's a look at four different statues. This was almost like a statue haul video of uh, affordable pieces. Maybe if space is an issue or if cash is an issue, these are different options you can go with. Let me know which one was your favorite in the comments down below. And like I said, that's how you're going to be entered into the giveaway for our next milestone giveaway of 125,000 subscribers. What we're going to do is, once we hit the milestone, we'll go live on a Sunday, we'll pick a random video where I promoted the giveaway, and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. You don't have to be watching live, I will try to get a hold of you if you're the winner, so comment on as many videos as you can, and we're inching closer and closer to the milestone. If you want to support the channel in other ways, check out our partners at ThatSpidermanBooth.com. Use the code GEMMINT to save $10 off of their $30 mystery boxes. They always have a cool giveaway prize, which will be in one of the boxes for the current round. Either way, you get five comics of retail value, but one lucky winner wins that GP. Also, their sister company, Street Level Hero, who has exclusive variants every Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes more. Amazing covers, which you can save 10% off of any one of those by using the code GEMMINT and anytime you shop there. That code is good for life, not one time per use like that Spider-Man booth. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue unboxing and reviews in the playlist to the right and stay minty fresh. Peace.